Who is Francis Schaeffer and why should we read him? That's the subject of this video. Hello, my name is Todd Harden and I'm a huge Francis Schaeffer fan. I heard of him growing up as a kid, but I didn't know much about him. I came across him more uh, directly or more uh, deeply uh, through my PhD research, and I was captivated by his love for God and his love for his fellow human being. And I, I really found a, a, a great teacher in him in the sense that he really believed God and his word. And so in today's video, I want to just spend a few moments explaining who Francis Schaeffer was, give you five reasons that you should read him, and then give you a few resources from which you can read him. So let's take a look at who, who was Francis Schaeffer. Well, Schaeffer was a Presbyterian evangelist in the mid part of the 20th century. Uh, he uh, was originally from a fundamentalist background but he was more than just a, an evangelist and a missionary, if you will. He was also a Christian thinker and philosopher. He was also an apologist for the faith. He uh, was a critic most emphatically on contemporary culture at the time. Schaefer was also the author of 22 books dealing with Christianity and culture. Well, why should we read this guy? Well, there, there are several reasons, but five come to mind. First, Schaefer gives us a Christian framework for interpreting all of reality. He really helps us see how to apply the storyline of God's Word and make it practical for all of the problems we encounter on this side of heaven. So he's, he's, he offers us a Christian framework that truly takes the Bible seriously but it's very comprehensive as well. Second, he gives us a, what I would call a substantially correct narrative that explains how we've gotten into the mess we find ourselves in. In that sense, Schaefer serves as a modern day prophet. You can read his, his writings from the 60s and they're just as relevant today, if not more. So it's almost like many predictions he made have come true. And it's scary, but it's also um, encouraging because he also offers a way out of the mess. So not only does he offer a, a Christian framework for interpreting reality, but he also is a modern day prophet in many senses of the word. Third, he helps us see the importance of objective truth or what Schaefer would call uh, true truth and its necessity for living as God's creatures in God's world. Schaefer predicts and criticizes or critiques postmodernism before postmodernism ever comes into the culture. And from that perspective alone, he's, he's a worthy read for any Christian trying to understand the culture with which we find ourselves now. So not only did he give us a Christian framework, uh, he was a modern day prophet in many senses of the word, and he, he talks about true truth or objective truth, a truth that is knowable. But he also See, he reminds us of the inherent dignity in the individual person. He sees people as God's image bearers, which is a completely orthodox way to view uh, people. But he has this saying where it would be, uh, it was something along these lines, he who sits across from us is one of our kind. And so he helps us remember to speak the truth, but to speak it in love not because of what somebody's done, good or ill, but because of who they are inherently as image bearers of the God who is there. And last, the last reason, the fifth reason of this brief list would be, Schaefer gives us an apologetic approach that demonstrates the inconsistencies of all the worldviews that compete with Christianity. And he teaches us how to deliver that apologetic in a way that is designed, as the Apostle Paul would say, to win people to Christ. And so those are the reasons to read Schaefer. Now, 
What are some of the resources? Well, above the 22 books, I think if you read, there's two, you could, two resources. I'll put the links down below. There are two resources that are just essential. If you get these two resources, which com are composed of four books, you will, uh, you'll be fine as far as understanding the basics of Francis Schaeffer. And the first one is True Spirituality. Uh, True Spirituality is an autobiography of sorts of Schaeffer and his crisis of faith. He had grown up a fundamentalist, and he had a fighting fundy spirit early on in his walk. And he realized, though, that, that individuals in that camp that, that he grew up in were, were more interested in winning battles rather than winning people to Christ. And it forced him to go back and rethink everything he had ever known about the faith. And the conclusion is quite striking in that, that it's almost like he settles the issue once and for all. The next book is his trilogy. And in his trilogy, it's, it, it's composed of three books. Uh, you can get it through Crossway. I've, like I said, I'll put the link down below. But it's uh, The God Who Is There, Escape From Reason, and He Is There and He's Not Silent. In these three books, you get the corpus of the, of the, of the meat of what Schaefer's talking about. Uh, he, he talks about how, um, how secular thinking has, has creeped into the church and it, it's infected all spheres of our culture. And he talks about our departure from the God who is there and seeking to build things out from ourselves, sort of a postmodern look at the world. And, and then he also talks about how God has revealed himself in the Word of God. And I think when you take all of these things together, what you'll see is Schaefer provides a model of Christianity or a Christian walk that helps us combat all the inconsistencies we see in today's culture. Well, I hope that this video has, has been helpful. If you've liked it, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to interact with you. God bless, and we'll talk again soon.